the principle of abandonment is a principle that is applicable in every area of our life. To abandon means to forsake something, to move away from something, put it down, to forsake and to move away from something, to neglect something. And this principle is applicable in every area of our life. Spiritually it is applicable, physically it is applicable, socially it is applicable, politically it is applicable, psychologically it is applicable. In Joshua chapter 24 verse 16, Joshua chapter 24 verse 16, And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. The people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord. That we should forsake the Lord and serve other gods. God forbid. So the principle of abandonment is applicable. In our day-to-day worship of our Lord, in our day-to-day worship of our Creator, in our day-to-day worship of our God, we must be able and be ready to forsake other gods in order to serve the true God. For you to serve the one and only true God, you should be able and you must be able to forsake other gods. Be ready to forsake other gods and be focused on the only true God so that the power in the kingdom of light can flow through you. You should be able and be ready to forsake the kingdom of darkness in order to lay hold on the power in the kingdom of light. In Psalm 16 verse 10, Psalm 16 verse 10, David said in his psalm, that for thou will not leave my soul in it, neither will thou suffer thy only one to see corruption. In Psalm 16 verse 10, David saw the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Thou will not leave my soul in it, neither will thou suffer thy only one to see corruption. The principle of abandonment was applicable in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the realm of the dead. Christ Jesus applied this principle and neglect the power of hell. He was able to apply this principle to overcome the power of hell and he move out of the grave by engaging the principle of abandonment. That means the resurrection of Jesus Christ obey this principle. The resurrection of Jesus Christ obey this principle. In Psalm 27 verse 9 to 10, Psalm 27 verse 9 to 10, it says, Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. In verse 10, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. The Lord will take me up. The father and the mother, your relatives, can forsake you. Your father and mother can forsake you. Your relative can forsake you. But God will not abandon you. God will never abandon you. He will never forsake you. He will guide you and orchestrate your path. So you should be able to lay hold on God for you to enjoy the power in this kingdom. The children of the world do apply this principle in a negative way. Your parents can forsake you. But God can never forsake you. Your parents can forsake you. The application of the principle of abandonment in a negative way. The application of the principle of abandonment to receive a negative result. To get a negative result. And that is the way man thinks. That is the way man behaves. That is the way man acts. This must sink into your consciousness. That people can abandon you any time. People can abandon you any time. Depending on the situation. But God can never forsake you. 
In Psalm 37 verse 25, Psalm 37 verse 25, David said, I have been young and now I am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. The righteous can never be forsaken. The righteous can never be abandoned. It is impossible for the righteous to be abandoned by God, and it is impossible for a seed to beg bread. So the benefit of your work with God will also extend upon your seed and your seed seeds. When a man work with God, he will receive a covenant that will abide forever in his house and in his generation. His children and children's children will enjoy the covenant of a, of a particular work with God. If you can walk with God, you will receive a covenant that will rest upon your lineage forever. In Psalm 119 verse 8, Psalm 119 verse 8, the psalmist said, I will keep thy status, O forsake me not utterly. I will keep thy status, O forsake me not utterly. For I will keep thy status, forsake me not utterly. In Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 11. Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 11. Leave thy fatherless children, I will preserve them alive. Let thy widows trust in me. If they can trust in me, I will preserve them. God said, I will preserve them forever. I will never abandon them. And I can never abandon them. I will be with them and guide them forever. So God is ready to guide you and to preserve you forever. In Matthew chapter 10, quickly open to Matthew chapter 10 verse 37. He says, He that loveth father or mother, more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter, more than me is not worthy of me. It's not worthy of me. That was the statement of Jesus in Matthew chapter 10 verse 37. You should be ready to abandon the world and focus on Christ Jesus. You should be ready to abandon the world. You should be ready to forsake the things of this world and carry the cross of Jesus. So the principle of abandonment is applicable. That means the principle of abandonment is applicable for you to serve God. For you to respond to the calling on the pulpit, for you to respond to the calling in the kingdom, for you to respond to the service in the kingdom, you have to apply this principle and forsake the word and the things of the world so that you can focus on the things of the kingdom. You have to abandon all and focus on the things of the kingdom. Your mind must be fixed. Your mind must be set on the things of the kingdom so that you can carry the things of the kingdom. You must be ready for the furtherance of the gospel, for the advancement and expansion of the kingdom. In Matthew chapter 19 verse 30, Quickly open to Matthew chapter 19 verse 30. It says, But many that are false shall be last, and the last shall be false. So many that are false shall be abandoned. They shall be last. And many that are last shall be abandoned and shall be forced. So many that are false shall be abandoned and shall be last. And many that, shall, that are last shall be repositioned to become false. So the principle of abandonment is applicable. In every race of life, many that are false shall be last in the realm of politics. Many that, that are false shall be last in the world of medicine. Many that are false shall be last in the race of the kingdom. Many that are false shall be last in, in the race of profession and career. Many that are false shall be last in the world of music. And many that are last shall be forced. Many that are last shall be repositioned at the first position. The principle of abandonment and election is applicable in all. 
is applicable in every area of life. And it is high time you are aware of this principle. Begin to apply this principle. If Jesus can apply it in a positive way, positive way, you should be able to apply it in a positive way. If Christ Jesus can apply this principle in a positive way to get a pot- positive result, you should be able to apply the principle of abandonment to get a positive result, not a negative result. Be ready to get positive results in every area of your life by putting the principle of abandonment to work. If Jesus can abandon the dead things in the realm of the grave and deliver the spirit of just men from the power of the grave, you should be able to deliver many by engaging the principle of abandonment. The principle of abandonment is important. The principle of abandonment is applicable in all. You apply it every day, be ready to apply it for the furtherance of the gospel. Be ready to apply it for the things of the kingdom. Be ready to apply it for Christ's sake. Be ready to apply it for the deliverance of humanity. Be ready to apply it in order to bring revolution. Be ready to apply it in order, in order to bring trans, transformation. Be ready to apply it in order to bring elevation. Be ready to apply it in order to distribute prosperity. Be ready to apply it in order to deliver your generation. The principle of abandonment is real. 